So we're out here for a great time. We're partying it up. Season two. You must be excited. Nail files coming back. You know, I'm really surprised um, because I can't believe the support that people have shown for the show. I think it's time that people see real reality, honestly. I think people need to see real reality shows where women actually do stuff instead of act silly and get drunk. And each other. Yeah. Or actually, in your case, like throw nail file, like file. That would hurt more, though. Snooky, you might have a competition. Yeah, probably. I mean, I would never throw a nail file at someone. I've wanted to throw nail files at people, but I, I never. You know, one time that you wanted to throw a nail file at someone. Well, tonight we're going to watch episode one and two of the second season, and one of my employees acted like a crazy cuckoo pants, and I not only wanted to throw a nail file at her, but I wanted to, like, claw her eyes out. So. Can you tell us who it is, or we have to just wait and see? No, you have to wait and see. It was one of my employees, one of my former employees. <laughs> Celebrities that come in to get their nails done. How important is it to have a great um, manicure or pedicure or your feet done before you step on the red carpet? Well, I feel like it's really important. I mean, I honestly, like, I was so frantic that I ended up doing my nails in the car on the way over here. Yeah, and I did. Those are um, sick. These are Lady Gaga nails, what? and I put them on. They're 3D nails, and you can stick them on and off when you're in a hurry. So. You know, and I'm one of those people that's always in a hurry. So I was like, oh my God, my God, I got nails. They look awesome. <laughs> I know, isn't that really cool? And then I have a nail ring on. This is a new line I have coming out. This is awesome. So how much would this be? Like if our fans want to just buy it right now? Mm, probably like 35 to $45. Okay. Yeah. You know, I've had some crazy times at the nail salon. I've had some crazy nail guys. I mean, trying to find a great nail salon is so difficult. Well, Tell us about your funniest experiences in the nail salon. You know, look no further. You don't have to search for any other nail salons because I have the painted nail. I feel like we're a one-stop glam shop for everything okay. fabulous. Um, but yeah, I've had some pretty bad experiences where a lady was actually eating at the manicure station. And then another one, she reused um, one of the pumice stones on someone else's feet. And then she came over to do my pedicure and she just... Yeah, so I was like, wow, okay, it's time to open up a nail salon in LA. <laughs> well, you know, like the creepy guys, like the nail guys doing your nails, they start hitting on you. Like, I've had that. Like, you're like, really? I thought you were here to do my nails, touching your hands. I luckily have never had that. I think I would freak out and totally die. I think it's really gross. Oh my God. It like wigs me out a little bit. I was talking with Michael Bolton over here, you know, before the red carpet started, and he was really excited to come out. He has, he said he really doesn't do his nails. So what do you think about men doing their nails or not I mean, doing their nails? Here's the thing. I think men should keep upkeep. They should do, like, maintenance. But I feel like, you know, if they don't want to do something, then they don't have to. But just upkeep. Don't don't be gross. Like, don't have big Lord of the Rings feet. Okay. Hey, guys. It's Katie Cazorla from Nail Files. You can check out my show on the TV Guide Network every Sunday night at 9, 8 central. And you can come to my store, The Painted Nail, if you're in Los Angeles. And if not, you can follow me on Twitter, at The Painted Nail, or my Facebook, at Official Katie Cazorla. It's The Painted Boobies! <laughs>